Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Are we in the Serengeti? Nope. Rockport, Texas. So this is B B E E Road. So that's for you, Deb B. B Road. And I have never been down this road before. Looks like they got a little pond over there. There's a, another road on the other side called King Road and I went down there for the first time not too much there just a couple houses but I thought this looked a little bit more uh, Texas-y if you will so I didn't even check the map or anything to see where this goes but I do like the looks of it looks nice and rural and you guys know how I feel about new roads kind of got the wow lots of tanks over there I wonder at what point these things just become abandoned you know That must have been a heck of a storm. You can see some trees uprooted right there. And the wind's blowing pretty good, so I'm hoping the microphone doesn't pick it up too bad. So here's the little dirt road that would go over to uh, those tanks and that gate is shut. That looks real inviting. So I have no idea if um, I didn't see a I didn't see a dead end sign on that road, but on this road, but that doesn't really mean anything, does it? King Road didn't have a dead end sign, and it was definitely a dead end. It ended at someone's private property with a cattle guard going across the road. So a sheepdog goes out to the field, rounds up all the sheep, brings all the sheep back to the rancher and says, I rounded them all up for you, 40 sheep. The rancher says, that's awesome, but we only have 36 sheep. Sheepdog says, I told you I rounded them up. <laughs> there's, a, there's a sheep. Here's a sheepdog uh, joke for you. Oh, what do you think, guys? Man, that's got gator written all over it. If it, if it wasn't for that, well, now that gator could go right over that, right through it. That's looking pretty gatory right there. I would say some boar have been in there. You kind of see where it's all dug up. Some boar, or at least javelina. I like new roads, guys. I enjoy a new road. And uh, I don't know if we have to worry about traffic too much on this one. Here's some more setups over here. Those live oaks look dead back in there, don't they? I really think that's why someone named them live oaks. is because they do, even the healthy ones look like they're almost dead, you know? There's a nice little tumble. I wonder where this goes. If you hear a shotgun going off, I just want to tell you now, we're nowhere near anyone should be duck hunting. Birdies. I hope you guys can hear him. I, I can barely hear him. Hoping the microphone picks it up. Yeah. Pretty neat. Little birdies. So we got 
barbed wire on both sides of the road. Someone dumped some tires. Some jackass dumped some tires right there. I do like the barbed wire fences that have like branches for the posts. This looks like it might just end down here. Or one of those, uh, well there is a sign, maybe road not maintained by county beyond this point type of deal. Or it could say really cool stuff just around this bend. More tires over there. Man, yeah, people, I got to tell you, you suck. Just come down a road, a backcountry road, and dump your tires. County maintenance end ends. That's what that sign says, guys. County maintenance ends. So I'm thinking this is still a public road. Ooh, big field over there. This is awesome. This is what I like. We got barbed wire held up by sticks. We got a dirt road. We got birdies chirping. We got no traffic. We had a horrible joke. We've ex expressed our disgust with human beings. Oh, more signs, guys. This might be the end here, huh? Let's see what these signs say. Hmm. Let's see. This is nice. Opens up here. Alright, so there's a gate that's closed and we don't want to go there. What does this say? No trespassing. Private property. Keep out. Same thing over there. No trespassing. Private property, keep out. Okay. So, uh, let me turn us around here, guys. Man, I know there's hidden treasure right back there. Something really cool. Alright, guys. Got turned around. I did a 12-point uh, turn. From all the rain, I didn't know how soft the ground would be off of this road. And I don't want to get stuck in blocking someone's only entrance. So I'm going to have to check some uh, Google Maps, Google Earth, and if you hang out till the end of the video, I'll try to throw some uh, photos in there of uh, the area, and uh, maybe it'll show a house or fields or... There's a windmill back there. I'm going to be real upset I didn't get to see it. Man, you don't even need to decorate here for Halloween. <laughs> that barbed wire doesn't look that old. The, the posts are definitely old. But that barbed wire doesn't have like a lot of weeds growing around it. So maybe they added some new wire. Barbed wire, devil's rope. What is this here? What is this stuff on the side of the road here? Oh, tree bark. Tree bark? Tree bark? Don't know. Piece of tire? I probably would have really enjoyed if the people living here caught people dumping on this road. Litterers, litterers shot in ass by Hero Rancher. <laughs> Front page of the Rockport Pilot. Man, I found a few more spots with tires, guys. How much does it cost to recycle a tire, you know? Isn't it like five bucks or something they charge you? I, I, I forget. I don't know if it's charged by the state or the county or whatever it is. There's a fee. Trash. You know who throws trash? Trash. <clears throat>
Hey, gator, 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 gator. Hey, gator, 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 gator. Gator. Load up. Nothing yet. Yeah, see how that's all tore up there in the mud? Right there? That is definitely some type of hog or javelina. Probably hog out here. You know why the hog couldn't get a date? He was a boar. Comedy pig gold right there. It took me to it took me a while to appreciate things like this in Texas that I wasn't used to considering beautiful. But I love this stuff now. I love it. There's actually a decent current. I guess the wind is pushing that. B Road off of 1069 in Rockport. I bet you this road has a history, huh? Ranching, farming, oil. I would love to know all about this. I would love to know the year this was built. And, I mean, it still looks maintained, you know? What was its heyday? What was it used for? How many people worked here? What was its purpose? And besides the tanks, it looks like they had livestock in here, too. Maybe they bring the livestock here to keep the grass down. Because you can see a uh, water trough right there. little metal water trough. And then the lining to keep the cattle away from that. Huh. And they got that building over there. I like it. And right up here is 1069. Well, guys, thanks for indulging me. I get all excited when I see these roads. I saw uh, two wave runners in there. Two, there you, you can kind of see one. So that's a different one. That's a third one. I see a boat over in there. Some junker cars. Hmm. Now it's, there's a, what is that, a school bus? What is that? Oh, it's a trailer. We're looking at the end of a trailer. And I see... Uh, you see that little dome right about dead center? What is that? That looks like a beat-up casita, but... I don't think someone would do that to a casita, would they? It's hard to tell what that is. Maybe we'll go over there and get shot at one time and ask them what's going on. <laughs> 1069, guys. Thanks for riding along. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Just to give you an idea where B Road is, guys. That's the entrance right off 1069. And there are some structures back there. 